I have a graph here of temperature in degrees Celsius versus time measured in seconds. It is for the, an experiment, the specific heat of steel. Uh, this data was taken in 2011, September 17th. I'd like to focus on different ways to scale or zoom the data display. First of all, we can grab the axis itself and just move the origin around at will. Or if you move the mouse down to the scale values themselves, the mouse becomes a little, little squiggle line. And then the graph can be stretched out, zooming in on a particular axis. And likewise, we can do that on the vertical axis. Scale to fit will do one of two things. It will either zoom out the entire data, or if you just highlight a region and then hit scale to fit, it zooms that particular region. So I'll scale to fit again. This does what we'd expect. This zooms in. So you just click that, and this zooms back out. This works the opposite of that zoom um, select and then zoom. <clears throat> so I'm going to choose that button, select, and then it zooms in just right away instead of highlighting the region first and hitting scale to fit. So slight difference in those two. And another way you can scale the graph is just by double clicking on the graph. And the graph settings, many of them, we go to axis settings and you can just set these manually numerical values. And also notice that you can lock the scaling or lock the origin, which is sometimes useful um, if you have data coming in from, say, a motion sensor, and there might be some noisy data points, which very quickly can rescale the graph um, to an unmanageable view. The last thing I'd like to cover are two, um, the last two things. Uh, the smart tool and the statistics tool. And I guess the third thing, the annotation tool. Let's do that first. The order of operations for the annotation tool are um, to click the note tool and then to select a data point thereabouts. That kind of helps the software know where to put the, uh, the pointer when you're done. But you can move it around later. This is just prior to removing from boiling water. And you've got different options here that you can mess around with. So it pointed at the data point that I clicked on after hitting the annotation tool. And if I'm going to have a few annotations on a graph, I like to um, turn off the borders and maybe even the opaque background uh, if that's fitting because then it's, it's not quite as busy when I'm looking at lots of annotations. This is the smart tool. To do this, I'm going to zoom in on this particular region to find out what the change in temperature was of the probe when it was removed from boiling water and it was stuck into um, to running water just to cool it down quickly. So I'm going to scale to fit that region now I'm going to turn on the Smart Tool. The Smart Tool allows you to find out the XY pair for the display. So here we have seconds, and here we have temperature in degrees Celsius. If I grab the horizontal line, it moves just vertically. If I grab the vertical line and drag it around, it just moves along the time axis. Pretty nice. Now if I grab the center and move it up here, I'd like to show you a difference in the cursor. There's the center move, but if you put it in the corner, it turns to a hand with a delta symbol, which allows you to drag the corner of this tool to see the change in temperature or the change in time. And so I could just go down here, and now I've found the change in temperature, about 73 degrees Celsius drop took 110 seconds to get to right here. We can just move it to right about there-ish. And finally, I'd like to show the statistics tool. So you can have different statistics displayed. 
might be nice to see how many data points there are. This turns the statistics on or off. And again, this highlights specific statistics. And so here we see max and min, but that's for the entire data, um, not just this region that we're viewing. So I want to be careful to highlight the data of interest first. Or actually, you can do it secondly. It's a, it's a live statistic, which is rather nice. So you can see those numbers changing as I highlight a different region. And so there we have it. Different ways to zoom, um, scale, and annotation tool using the smart tool in Delta mode and also the statistics. Oh, one last thing. If you double click on the graph, there's another setting here that's called tools. And this is regarding the smart tool. You have these different modes that you can use for the smart tool. Data point gravity means, I don't know if you remember, but this uh, smart tool snapped to the data point. And you can turn off that gravity. If you set it to zero, then your smart tool will never snap to a piece of data. It'll just move around freely. There we have it.